Hello there, I am Giant Girl with more Super Mario 64. In the last part, we took on the rest of Lethal Love Lane. That 100 coin star gave us a real big trouble. But now we're gonna move on to Big Boo Hunt. So let's just chase this boo, and the boo wins the race. Okay, whatever. So, the backyard, I guess you could say, is covered with ghosts. But the ghost you wanna worry about is this one. And if I can knock it out, like that. We have to go in this little tiny thing, and this is, um, Big Boo's Haunt. Quest number five, yep. Okay, go on a ghost hunt. Let's do that. Okay. Sorry that I'm doing quests out of order, but, you know, I just do them to whichever one I like to do next, I guess. Come on in here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Go on a ghost hunt means you have to fight all the ghosts and defeat them. That's basically what you want to do. So, first I'm going to try to go behind the... I'm gonna go behind the boo house, because that's where you want to start. Because there's two boos back here. I'm pretty sure they still count too. There's at least ten ghosts that I have to defeat before you have to go to boo go defeat big boo. So let's go in here. Yeah. Ghost, don't die. <laughs> Can you get out of here? Get out of here alive. Now, Big Boo will say that every time you defeat one of the ghosts, so I won't read it all, all ten times or whatever not. So yeah, he just says the same thing. And yeah, let's just exit. Okay, so I'm gonna go in the haunt- I'm gonna go in the, um, haunted house now. Now, if you go down the shed- go to the shed and down the elevator thing, it'll lead you to the merry-go-round. Those boos in the merry-go-round do not count for this ghost hunt. They just talk about the ghost hunts that- the ghosts that I just beat, and then the ones in the haunted house still. This- yeah, in the big haunted house. A piano is very scary because if you approach it, it'll do a loud tune. Yep. You don't want that. Okay, um, these books I can just take and kill, I guess. I don't think there's a boo in here, so let's just move on. Let's see right here. Here's another boo. I'm not gonna worry about the eyeball, I'm just gonna worry about the boo. There we go. You can also ground pound them, kick a punch out, whatever you want to do it. Yeah, just make sure that it's right in the butt though, because they don't really, you know, don't work in the front most of the time. Okay, I'm gonna run across this bridge really fast because it'll break as soon as I step on each one piece. Each piece. There we go. You see the same thing. And I think there's like two or three more ghosts left, I'm not sure. Here's one of them. Oh, I should have read that, my bad. But there's Big Boo. He does, he's not really that hard to defeat. And I'll show you why in a second. And the ghosts are way too easy, too. Okay, I have to face away from him. Oh my gosh, you're being very tedious. There we go. Oh, why would they put the star up there? Well, there's a staircase that will be built, that will build up to it. I think if you start at the very tip, you just don't even have to jump, like I just did. But there's your star. Nice, we got the star. We got the star, guys. See, in that in that first, just going through Big Boo for one time, I already have 30 coins from it. It's my high score. But that'll change to 100 when we get the 100 coin star. Go in it, Mario. <laughs> Big Boo's merry go round. Now the way I want to get into it is just use the shed, because th I think it's slightly faster, in my opinion. So let's go down here. Let's drop, and then just ground pound so we don't take damage. And go over here, and around here to the store. Go across the store. And there we go. Oh, I, f I fainted both of them actually. Right, I fainted both of them. I'm playing too much Pokemon. I killed both of them. Here's Big Boo again. Long time no see, not really.
Come on, just let me ground pound you. Come on. Big Boo, you just don't want to die. <laughs> That's what I think. You're a ghost and you don't want to die. And after that, when the Star Pierce, the music will stop and the merry ground will stop. But then the music after the course will still be there. I don't want to exit the door, are you kidding me? Get this power star, dang it. Save. Okay, nice. Let's go to the haunted books. I think I remember this one. Let's go to the top level of the um big big blue house though. The haunted house, everyone, whatever you want to call it. Either way, which everyone suits your float your boat, I guess. I think it's this door. Oh no, that's not the right door. I know it's on the second floor. I think it may be this door then. Yeah, this is the door. Okay. Run. I was running at full speed and still hit me. Okay, so there's an order you have to go through. I think it's this one. Maybe. Nope, it's not that one. Okay. Let's, maybe it's this one. No, I, I, I did. Oh, dang. I hit the same one by accident. No, okay, it's the top one. I, I was going for the top one, but it didn't work. Okay, fine. If I die because of this. There we go, I almost died from that star mission. <laughs> wow. Ouch. I just die. Why oh, you're so happy? V for victory, guys. You don't save, as usual. Seek the Avid Coins. I think I'm doing the 100 coin star mission too. Well, I'm at this. Uh, the first star I want to uh, the first coin I want to get is in this shed actually. It's um this eyeball. It'll give you five coins. The books will also give you five coins. So this is like I think honestly the easiest 100 coin star mission. Uh, of course you can get 100 coins in for the star. So you know. Um, let's just let's see box with those coins. Spider will give us three coins. Spider will give us three coins. This spider will also give us three coins. That's ten coins right there on the box. Here's ten coins coming up. Here's some more coins right here. There's lots of coins in this one. See, I'm already up to 45 coins. I haven't entered the Megron part or the Haunted House part, but now I have, obviously. The first red coin, or the first one I see is this one. I get hit by the panel. I'll have to just take the hit. There's a second red coin, or a second red coin. Here's another one. Oh, there's one that would pop out of this bookcase, the book, but that's okay. This eyeball. We run around him. There we go. 66 coins. There we go. Let's 
go over here. And here's another ghost. He's three or four to the corner right there. I think there's more coins on the top. Yep. I didn't get eye contact. Come on. I think you'll have to go run around him like one and a half circles around him. Dang it. Okay, cool. Nice. Wait, how many coins, red coins do I have? Six. Okay, cool. We don't have the invisible cat either yet. Getting easier. I think there's a um a blue coin switch up here. I'm on my way. Thank you. Close enough. Here's a blue switch if you need it. There we go. Oh, I said I said yes. My bad. Dang it. Okay, that's okay. I accidentally said yes. The seventh coin is right here. I think I know where the eighth coin is. It's in that cage room. Like the red cage on the plaza floor. I think it's in this way. Yep. And there's your power star. I accidentally fell off, but that's okay. I can just climb the stairs and get the star then. See, we didn't have to, we didn't even have to use the but, uh, the booze and the big mag run part. So there's your star. I think there's one more star we can get, but I think we need the invisible cap for the last one. Who's balcony? Yep. Okay. I remember this one. I want to go in the boot, the haunted house, or Boo's haunted house, which is called Boo's haunted house. That makes it very fitting. And you want to go. Where is it? Is it this door? No. Is it? There's a door you have to go through. It's not that door either. I think. Dang, it's not that door either. Dang it. I believe it's this door then. Yeah, it's this door. Okay. Got, my, got a little mixed up there. I'll kick right here. There we go. I pulled it off that time. Then you might go right over here. And then there's Big Boo right there. And they put the star all the way up there. But I think you have to long jump and stuff. So let me see. I don't know where to long jump though. I forget. Dang it. How many guys back at the top? Okay, so I think we have to long jump over there. So let's do that. Okay, nice. Here's the one up. I'm gonna try to get the one up actually. There we go. And let's grab our star. How oh, nice, that ended up very nicely. That ended very nicely, I should say. Don't say. Now, I can't do the sixth star yet because I don't have the visible cap. But I'm gonna actually uh, show you how to unlock it real quick. I think I may be able to do the star too. So, if I remember correctly, it's um in the basement. There's a room we have to go in the basement to drain the water. 
So let me do that. Okay, so if you go over here, not to his my kid, but you go to this room, you want to swim all the way down. And make it all the way back up like that. And what you want to do is you want to ground pound these two things. You know, it's important that you ground pound them. And the water will drain. And it'll actually drain at the bottom of the castle too. That's the trick. Now if you want to go over here. There's an opening right here. And this is where you get the invisible cap. Welcome to the vanished cap switch course. All the all the blue box you find will become solid once you step on the cap switch. You'll disappear when you push put on the vanished cap so you will be able to elude enemies and walk through many things. Try it out. So if I remember there's a there's this red coin challenge too. Okay, I'm gonna try to get this one up, but I might not like um manage to do it. There we go, nice. Okay. So here's another one up right here. Taking a lot of damage, like ground pound or something. messed up. Oh, wait, I didn't mess up. Okay, that's still faded out because I haven't got the switch yet. So there's your force red coins. I don't like this camera angle. This is just coins. Yeah, it's just coins. Okay. If I can do this right. Oh, oh no! I was too cocky. Okay, I'll, I'll skip to where I have four red coins. Okay, here I am with four red coins again. So yeah. Distribution Mario and Steven. <laughs> Steven Mario. Come on, put more weight on this side. There we go. Uh oh. No, are you kidding me? I sh oh my gosh. Okay, I'll meet your buddies back when I get six red coins. Okay. No, are you serious? Come on! I almost had it! Okay, I can do this. That actually worked. I didn't, I didn't mean the long jump. Okay, let's just grab it. No, I don't want to save it. Okay, so, and then here's the last coin. To get it, you need to use the invisible cap. Okay, we can do this, guys. We can do this. Nice. Don't fall through the hole. But there's your star. Okay. So this has been the my Super Mario 64 Redux Walk the Guide Redux part. And the next part will take on the rest of like Boo's Home just one start. And I'll hopefully start Hazy Maze Cave. I'll start Hazy Maze Cave next after Big Boo's Home, actually, that's a good idea. So this has been Johnny Go again. I would like to watch you again. Goodbye and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Super Mario 64 Walk the Guide Redux.